Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook and Twitter. And today I have a request from a Facebook subscriber or Facebook follower. His name is Gerardo and he requested how to set up a gateway to gateway VPN from a Cisco RV320 to a RV325. If you look carefully up top, they're set up on two different subnets. That's the only way this will work. You can't have a 192.168.1.1 and on the other side, 192.168.1.1. It'll never work. Have to be on two different subnets for this to work. This happens to be my eighth client that I'm using as a demonstration. So let's log in here. So we want to go to appliance to appliance. So obviously we click add gateway to gateway. We're going to add and this is the tunnel name. Okay. Enter in, you know, admin knock if you want or, you know, so we want to, this is the client side that wants to connect to the prime, the other gateway. So all the information here has to match the information on the other side. So the IP address needs to be where you want to connect. So we can, I'm just going to set test here for now. Okay. And if you do not, you, you select this, if it, if you, you only select IP only, if that's what it is, you have a static IP, you don't have a full qualified, uh, um, domain name. That's what FQDN stands for full, full, full qualified domain name. Um, so these are the options that you have. If you're familiar for what you're looking at here, I don't want to go into grave detail with this. If it's just an IP address and you're getting it from your cable provider, then you just type, type in the IP only and then the IP address will be here. Or you, it'll, if you have a name, like you could have, you know, Joe Schmo at domain.com, then you would choose the FQDN, you know, so that it can resolve it. Um, subnet, if you want a group, in other words, if you just want, if you want the entire network to be seen by the VPN or just one device, you can do the subnet, IP range, or just one IP. So you can just set up one IP address to have access to. I usually do the subnet because you want the entire, you want to be have access. If you're monitoring the network from one side and you want to look at all the servers on the other side, you might want to leave it here. And then here is the IP address of the other side. Okay, so you can simply type in whatever it is I'm just gonna make one up so it'll be you know one two three dot two five four dot two five four dot ten say that was the the other side IP address I'm making it up and then and the other side if it's a, a 10 dot network you want it the whole subnet so 10 dot zero dot zero dot zero would be the the other side and then this is important so now yet now this information here has to match everything on the other side so but the opposite so whatever the subnet information would be on this network so the ip address for the other side would be 192.168.8.0 okay for when you're configuring the other side and the and then the ip address of which will be here you, i'm going to block it out but this is the ip address on this side which goes here so the IP address of the local group setup will go in the remote group setup on the other gateway. Okay. So now we set up group one, 768. You can choose different levels of um, IPsec groups. I like to leave it on group one. This is DES. I like to change this to triple DES. MD5 is fine. I like to uncheck perfect forward secret uncheck that make, make sure when you do that on the other end that you do you know you make sure you uncheck that because it, it won't connect uh, here again triple des md5 minimum pre-shared key complexity this is important to subscribers rule asterisk 2018 but just to say that was it. Look how much green we have. So this is like an awesome freaking pre-shared key for, but you notice I did a capital Y, a capital T, a capital S. I technically, I could probably throw a number in here, 
you know? So this is this is awesome. So the longer it is, and then you need to copy this. Make sure you copy this if this is what you're going to use. And then you can create it and set it up on the other end. Because you're going to need this exact pre-shared key. That's how they communicate with each other. That's huge. You need to be able to do that. And then you hit, if you wanted to save it as is, there is an advanced button here. We're going to click in here so you can see what I'm talking about. It adds additional options. All right. So I like to click on keep alive. Everything else is turned off. So, and that's pretty much it. You click save and you set up the other, and then that's it. So this is, this is how it's done. It's a foolproof way. I, I love it. It's the best thing ever. Uh, hopefully this video helps um, my subscriber, Geraldo, and, um, or anybody else that's interested in doing gateway to gateway VPN connectivity. Anyway, if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care. Creative Labs iRaw. Plug it in like, like this. The inside of this is really impressive. 100A in the Prius. The AC adapter, one amp charger. And it's big, and it's made out of aluminum. Okay, as you can see, the backup is complete. Like so. And now you can create the RAID array. I mean, for the, for the price difference between the two,